Thousands of residents in Sydney and on the New South Wales Central Coast are entering another day without power after wild storms battered parts of the state on Sunday. Stella Todorovic joins us live now. Stella, the state government has rejected Osgrid's request for army assistance with the cleanup. It's a quick turnaround. Matt Keane was here on this program just 24 hours ago saying that he was putting those preparations and requests in place. Yeah, Laura, well, it seems that the state government has had internal discussions. The Energy Minister, Matt Keane, speaking with Emergency Services Minister David Elliott yesterday, and this is when the decision was made to send an extra 100 personnel to assist the 600 SES crews already on the ground assisting with this clean-up after wild storms lashed Sydney this past weekend. Some residents entering their sixth day without power today. As of this morning, 25,000 properties are still without out power last night. 3,000 properties were restored with electricity. Osgrid says it could be days. I mean, it could end up being until the end of the week that these residents don't have any electricity. And Osgrid says that they welcome any assistance from the government, whether it's extra people, extra boots on the ground, or whether it is the army. We are going to see more rain. Heavy rain has already uh, drenched parts of New South Wales overnight. Western Sydney saw a, a fair bit of rain overnight, and there is more to come. 60 millimetres could hit Western Sydney tomorrow and as much as 30 or 40 millimetres tomorrow in the CBD. So this call for help from the army could change this decision, could be overturned in coming days, Laura.